January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. A local organization is asking for your help. Carly Keenan joins us now with details. Carly? Yeah, Lee, a program with JBARJ Youth Services is offering a free virtual community training on human trafficking. It's a way for people to learn about the myths and realities, indicators, and what to look out for in the community. Trafficking does happen in our community. It is happening in Central Oregon. January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. The AT Project is a program with JBARJ Youth Services that works directly with survivors of human trafficking in Central Oregon. It's using the month of January to remind the community that exploitation and human trafficking happens here and there's local help. The App Project is offering two free virtual training sessions led by local experts. They'll focus on teaching about the indicators, myths and realities, and how to respond to trafficking. But it can't do this alone. What role does the community play in preventing this from happening? I think if people are aware that it is happening in our community, that is obviously the first step to just acknowledge that happens here. Um, but then also to realize, like, you know, who are the vulnerable people? Who are, who are you around um, that might um, be susceptible to being groomed to be trafficked? In the last year, the Out Project helped 68 people in Central Oregon who were at risk, suspected of, or confirmed victims of human trafficking. But that number only indicates those who got help. I imagine it's a lot higher than the amount that we're serving. Bree Barrett, the program manager for the App Project, says Central Oregon has several factors that contribute to trafficking. The housing crisis, traffic from Highway 97, and challenges in childcare all leave a vulnerable population. And I hope that during January, especially, that we can really um, reach our community, build awareness, um, because without our community involvement, it makes our job impossible. Um, so the more that we have involved by the community, the better we are going to be able to ser actually serve survivors of trafficking. There are two options to join the training sessions. They'll run virtually on January 19th from 1 to 2 and the 20th from 530 to 630. JBARJ is also a 21 Cares for Kids partner. And to learn more or register for one of the events, there's a link on our website at ktvz.com.